Hey guys, we're Maester here and welcome to episode number 2 of the West Brom Crema people and first of all I apologise for the amount, the amount of time it's taken me to upload the second episode and that is purely my fault in the sense of like um, my software that I use it just didn't allow me to record a higher quality which made me not want to record the second episode and then basically I tried to do it where basically I used the um, recording of see yeah you can do through ps4 like try and record it or save the uh, capture it through the ps4 and obviously you can up to do up 60 minutes which you can record up to and for some reason it just didn't do 60 minutes it did 53 52 minutes i lost bare footage where i was like doing certain things like buying certain players and whatnot and doing certain things which just didn't make sense so i lost all of that i did record it through my obs software but for some reason there's another whole long story behind that basically my whole thing reset my streamlabs obs reset which, which means all my settings i had beforehand were gone so obviously one of the settings you can do is change the format of the video that you obviously export the video in or whatever i record it in and normally i do mp4 but for some reason it came out see the base obviously the on whatever the, the actual default is flv and for that i i can't edit that format with the software that i use so that's just ruined that in that in that sense i could use that at least to, it might not have been the best of qualities but at least it would have been something so now i've restarted it done our preseason myself all right that's still see we didn't when we got to the we obviously didn't qualify in this one and obviously yeah so here we are i've done a few trainings and we have sold phillips that's what you guys would have seen in the uh beforehand i've sold phillips and now obviously we're trying to find a right mid this see cam midfielder position and what stuff i haven't seen the objectives they've gone off for another player as well so we'll check that all out now people so for the youth development we have a short term objective which is to sign at least three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position that's that shouldn't be that hard because i see the team that we have doesn't have very high rated players in the sense of like uh or i don't know at least a lot of numbers of players that have high ratings so we should that should be possible especially striker we've only got 72 75 maybe max obviously with uh robinson uh being our main striker i think he's he can, i think he's 72 i believe so so is austin 72 as well so not much that will be hard to sign for strike position and obviously you've got to try and find two more two more positions i think mean, like center back obviously we've got ivanovich who's 80 bartley who's 72 and obviously um aj who's 73 so that's going to be difficult. I mean, the fullbacks I could do for sure. But anyway, that's what I'm just saying. We've got, it's not that hard. It shouldn't be that hard to achieve that, to be honest. It should be very easy. Even though it's a high uh, priority. But it should be easy to complete. So round exposure is to get 12 clean sheets in the league. Okay, that might be hard, to be honest. But we'll try our best. If you guys are, I'm doing that on world class difficulty um, right now. But I might increase it or decrease it. I don't, I don't decrease it, but I might increase it if the difficulty is easy. Uh, if it's not, obviously I keep it as it is on world class and we'll play it for the season. Maybe we'll see how it goes for next season. You never know, depending on the team that we have. Sign two players from Europe. Okay, and hopefully, I'm seeing a youth uh, players that we get from the get-go. So hopefully we have some European players that are have a high potential and that will hopefully help us achieve that early on. I mean, to be kind of better. So context is none. So short term for domestics are uh, Premier League avoid relegation. Okay, that's very um, realistic. We'll take that. Uh, Emirates FA Cup reached the run of 32 stage. That's okay, that's cool. And long term within four seasons, Premier League win the league title. Okay, as yes, we've got four seasons for that. It's okay, cool. Short term, sell two players and sign three important players to replace them. Finish the season without any unspent transfer budget. I still don't get that, but finish the season without any unspent transfer budget. So he's trying to tell me to to sell players and then buy them. I don't I, I'm not gonna complete that, bro. I am not going to complete that. I will try and sell the players and do it, but finish the season without any unspent transfer budget, I ain't that impossible. But maybe if I make a profit, would I work? I'm not sure. So we've got 22 um, million at the moment. Obviously, we've got an offer here for one of our players. Let me quickly go and check that out. So we've got an offer here for Zahori, um, who's 26 and 70. I don't think he's going to become a very... I'm not going to use him that much in this team. Um, he may not get much game time on us with us, so might as well sell him to get a bit extra profit. Yeah, you know I mean, um, so at least in that we can actually have space and actually have opportunity. You actually get some game time to be realistic. I mean, I doubt uh, I can actually get. Obviously, how well, much offer? They offer two million for him. If we can try and get two point three to two point four mil from, that'd be phenomenal. Um, 
I think we'll try and go for 2.4 and see what it says. 200,000, 400,000 more than what they offer and see how they react to it. If they say they act like a negative way, obviously that's different, we'll move on. But if they actually start doing some thinking about it, then we could try and sell him for a bit more and all that stuff. But hopefully the glitch doesn't take place where, um, I'm going to say, oh my god, why? Why am I this, I'm not, we're not the same. I'm going to propose a new one for 2.4 and see what they say. If he acts crazily, oh shit, damn, I've had one bad reaction since I've been scared <laughs> to uh, over to obviously highball it. But um, you know what, fine, we've got what, 400 less than we could have, but at least it's something, um, we'll see how it goes, so if you, hopefully that would mean we get like a mill on something to our name. To a certain degree, that'd be great. So let's go check out the uh, youth staff. No, youth staff, sorry, our uh, youth academy, and see if we've got any good players. <laughs> so this man here can leave because his potential is too low. We've got these four are decent for the time being. Obviously, this guy we can't sign them out of what anyway. Uh, Golovin. Oh, hopefully he's like our god. I've seen like the Monaco god. I was gonna say our god of him, but it's a Monaco one. Sorry. Hopefully he's like him. But it's something about the CDM. Okay, is he his brother? Maybe by any chance? It might be. You never know. Um, but obviously the game generated one. Um, Eduardo Alves. Oh, Cam left mid left. Okay, this guy seems to have decent potential. And we're actually gonna promote him to see a team right now. Actually, I'm gonna actually get him right now. I'm not gonna waste time. These guys, I'll leave. I'll leave Golem for a time being. Just for a time being. Um, have I achieved an objective by doing that? Have I? Yes, I have. Wonderful. There we go. Okay, that's 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 it. That's, that's all we needed. That's all we needed. We need to do that so now I feel comfortable. But anyway, as you guys see, this is the team that we have. Um, these are four, um, four, four, one, one formation at the moment. Um, but I believe I have it a 4 4 on mid. What's it called? Midfielder position formation. Midfield. That's what it's called. Instead of the attack one, I believe it's called. Uh, it's attack. I've got midfield. Because obviously, uh, Pereira is a cam. So that's the reason why. Obviously, because we haven't got uh, Phillips no more. So I obviously put uh, Dean uh, Gunner as our right mid. But obviously, I've got a short list of players who are wanting to get in that position. Let's go check those players out. And obviously, we're going to let the reports come back. They haven't come back yet. Once they do, I'll try and sign those players. Right, guys, so these are the players that have shortlisted for the time being because um, I wanted to get a right mid who can play right mid, left mid, or right mid, or uh, a midfield or some sort of cam or centre mid, something like that, or even striker if possible. But uh, these are the players that I have for that position. I'm trying to go for Kulovar because I feel he has the, like, I feel he's decent. So is a, is it Jenin, Jenin Po? Jenin Po? Jenenpo or Jenipo? I can't pass that, but I'm going to put Muso. Easier for me. Um, if you've got Vargas here as well. But I feel like, for me, it's either Uma. Uh, Uma or Uma? I think it's pronounced o Uma. Uma. I don't know if it's Uma. But I'm not sure. But anyway. Um, him. <laughs> or... Yes, yes. He's got some nonsense traits, but his pace is actually right, you know? Shit. Actually, I'm going to go for him because he's got a camp and he's a right mid. So he could be pretty decent. But anyway, because we've got a left mid as one, I don't, maybe I might actually go for a left mid, right mid one. But Kudovar will try and see. Depending how much they're worth. If they're achievable for us to get and more realistic. Because I want to get a, a right back as well. So I've got obviously um, Milenkol uh, Milenkolovic, um, who can play centre back and right back. So I could use him possibly. Or uh, Dagbar. He obviously is a PSG uh, player as well. So hopefully we'll see when they come back, the reports come back and see whether. Uh, we can actually afford these guys. Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll see how that goes. I've seen until then. I'm gonna go through some trainings. We get me some some stuff, trading stuff here and there, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna offer here for a O'Shea for 2.8 million from uh, Standard de Liège. That perhaps this thing's pronounced. Uh, we can get the free mill for him. They offered 2.8. You know, actually, offered, they offered. Do you want to They actually offered quite a bit, you know, for him. You know. Is he actually that good? Sorry. He's can't, he's can't answer the question whether I should sell him or not. 
But I want to sell him purely because I feel like um, I can get a better player and obviously to replace him and do better. Yeah, I mean, uh, Milankovic could do amazingly in that position, depending how many years he stays out of the team and if he can do well. Yeah, you know I mean, so um, they've offered two point eight. We can try. We're going. We're going to try and get like a three point two, if possible. Three point two would be nice. Three point two, like two hundred thousand more. See what they say. Three point two apply. Right, so long close of twenty percent as well. So in case he does, they sell him in the future. And he. Oh wow! Okay. She only offered. I only charged four hundred more than what you offered. Bloody hell! All right, calm down, mate. That guy over here says if I charged him way more, like a double what he was worth. All right, sure. Fair enough. Sometimes it happens, you know. Sometimes I thought last time I under, obviously uh, thought I, uh, I didn't want to obviously highball it, and then it went okay. So I thought I would try and highball it, and it didn't go my way at all. You mean you win some, you lose some, I guess, isn't it? I'm gonna train these guys one more time, and I'll come back once something else comes through. So, guys, the reports have come back for you players. Um, two of them haven't come back. Varga, Varga, sorry, and Kuliva haven't come back. So, Vargas and Kuliva, I'm gonna leave for now. So, I'm not gonna go for attacking players just yet. But I will go for one of these. I'm going to try and go get Dagbar if possible. Try and get him for stinking cheap if we can. So he's worth around uh, 9.7 is we can get offer. So we're going for the lowest. And we're going to try and maybe max get him for, say, 11. If we get him for 11 mil, that's a steal. And we're going to try and take him for that. If we can't get him for that, then obviously we'll try and go for Milan uh, Milankovic. And obviously he's worth quite a lot more. He's worth, obviously, he may have to pick up to 15, 16 maybe to get him. Um... But obviously the centre back and right, which obviously it's a very good position. Obviously he's obviously for, I can actually train him to be a centre back to be honest. But you know what, yeah, we'll go for Dagbar. Bonnet, we'll go for Dagbar. Uh, we'll try and get him if possible. I might have to leave uh, Milankovic to be honest. But we'll try and get to see how it goes first. Oh, the twins are back. Alrighty, offer a transfer fee of nine point five. This thing was right. So it's a minimum. And we had a, it was had a sell on clause of 25%. Seven at night. Oh snap, all right, my twin says it's cool. There we go, we'll take it. We will take that, people. So, what's his uh, wage? 34, 34.5, mad, okay. 34.5, let's try and get this brother here. Does he swear he's the one that signs that has got to sign a European player, right? He comes into that. First thing we need to talk about is the the club in terms of playing time. Yeah, of course, I'll make him crucial, why not? So if I've rated, he's the highest rated right back. For now, we'll take him on five years. Sure, mate, we'll accept it. I don't want a release clause. If they say release clause, good. We don't want a release clause. We like that. Um, Accept it. I don't want a release clause for my guy. And that, let's continue to the next stage. So it's currently rated 34. Let's offer 37. I was say 47. If you guys a meme, if you guys don't know about it, it's a meme. Same as we'll give you 150. Boom. And we'll add a little bonus as well. Not appearances, clean sheets. We'll make it 20 clean sheets. You will get half a million, bro. Half a bloody million. And a little bonus, mate. All right, cool. My guy agrees to it. Lovely. He's sort of half a million. He's done half a million. Uh, he's like, ah, oh, shit. I might have to, I have to go for that. But cool. We've got him now. We obviously don't have enough money, I believe. So to maybe actually we do. We do actually. I think. Um, to get one of these guys, but I feel like, okay, if I were to go for Omar, I need to get at least 19, we'll say that. 21, okay, I'm not gonna go for him. No, I'm not gonna go for him either. So I'm gonna actually get rid of these two guys. These guys are too expensive. I might just go for, uh, Pedrino. But I wanna get rid of Tati. Titi, or Tati, Tati, Tata. Tata, I don't know, bro, maybe. Um, 
to 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 we, once once things come back, we'll uh, I'll join you guys again. Hmm. All right, then, guys. So the reports have come back for two players. They both sent for rated, but I just realized the budget that we have right now is only twelve million. So we can we can't actually go for any of these guys. We're actually able to get them for a lowest price, but still, I think it's a very big gamble in case we need to get an emergency player of some sort. You never know. So that's why I'm gonna wait until we sell one of our own players, and then I might possibly um buy one of these guys if possible, we'll see. So good. before we head into our first game, I'm actually going to sign Golovin as well. Um, his centre-back and CDM, which are positions that we kind of need players, to be honest. Um, at least players that will have decent overalls. Fingers crossed his potential comes out to be more than the average, which will make us think so much easier in the sense of like um, objectives. That will be great. And let's see what it is. Hopefully it's gone up, it has gone up. It must mean that we have achieved that. Yes, we have. Perfect. There we go. Oh, right, to enter the first game in Crystal Palace, there, people, and the probable formation that we'll have is a four-four-two formation uh, with the Batsiri Ali up front. But obviously, it can change as it's probable. You never know; it could be different. Uh, but I mean, they've got a decent team. But I feel like we've got a, we've got a decent team ourselves, so we should be able to at least put a decent fight, a good fight, to try and get some points here. And that's the aim. First game on, we should try and get some uh, points. So obviously, we come out with zero points. Going to be like a big, in my opinion. So we've got to start off with strongly, so at least so we can finish strongly as well. So uh, yeah, with that being said, let's enter our first game here against Crystal Palace. Sawyers. First time shot, I'll get out first time, but yeah, fair enough, we'll take that. A little more than having a shot, we'll take it, we'll take it. Cross it in, can't win that. Oh, unlucky uh, Ivanovic, lovely header though. Nearly, nearly a goal early in this in this game. Nearly. Oh, that's a foul ref. Okay, maybe not. But I still got the ball somehow. There's Pereira. Have a shot, son. Ah, it's a poor shot, to be honest. But, I mean, we're doing good. We're doing good for the first few attacks here. Come on, cross it in, Pereira. Win that. Ah, easy for the keeper there. Why is not in the box? Oh my god, he just misses. Damn it, bro. Just misses. That was a good chance there, good attempt there. I thought Pereira, actually, I thought he slotted it there for a second. I thought he did, but sadly he didn't. Grisiki there, go on. Go on, son. Have a shot. Oh my god, are you serious, people? Are you serious? How is my guy having a shot and it does that? How rude. Ah, oh, so rude. Genuinely, that's so rude. How? How is that fair? If they somehow score before us, I'll be so upset. <laughs> Offsides, thank you. I was say, if I didn't get called offside there, I'll be like, yeah, rigged. Oh, my God. Bro, what did I just say? If they somehow score before us, I'll be so upset. If this, oh my god, I'm actually annoyed now, people. How is that fair? We're doing so well attacking wise, but I, I didn't want to foul. I didn't want to tackle the guys. I didn't want to draw a foul. You know what I mean? And they scored that kind of a goal. Damn it! With that, we're now losing one 0 against Crystal Palace, people. Damn it. There's Livermore. Have a shot, Livermore. Oh my god, why is my shot not just getting past this keeper, bro? This keeper is not that good, bro. I'm just doing poor shots, I feel like. Ah, oh, he's offside. Oh my god, it wasn't. He actually wasn't offside. Oh shit, someone played him on. Ah, I should have taken a better shot. Should have taken a better shot there. Come on, Robinson. Oh my god, this guy is saving every shot I do, man. What the hell? 
This guy's taking he's saving every single shot, mate. Every shot I'm taking is just being saved. Why are you tr why is my guy every time trying to do that whole like a bicycle kick or like a scorpion kick? What the hell man? Everyone just needs to calm down here. Had a shot, oh my god, if John Stone had let that go through, bro. If John Stone had let that go through, I'd been so upset. Suzuki. Ah, oh, the poor cross. Oh my god, I thought Ferguson he scored a goal for us, you know. Come on. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, let me see how close it is. If it was far, I'd be. Like, fair enough, it was far. But if it was close, I'd be so upset. I can't tell how. I couldn't tell. I could not tell. Uh, I don't want. To, I don't want to go into replay and check it out myself. But yeah, I mean, damn it, bro. We've had many shots, but uh, there's so many off target, man. Diangana. Oh my God! Finish it quicker, bro. I beg. Offside. No, there's no zone. Oh my God! No, don't. Oh my God! Yes, John Stone. Oh my god, this is such an annoying game, brother. This game has been so annoying. We should have won this game. I guarantee we should have won this game. We should have won this game, I don't know. At least 2-1, two, two, at least 2-3-1. Two guarantee. Alright guys, I made a change. I made the footage to a 4-2-3-1 wide formation. I've given that a go. As uh, I think the 4 4 one, one just didn't feel right, it felt very slow. So, this one hopefully will be a bit more better. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, I just realized for formation, not formation of roles, I think Bartley, the captain, as he has the leadership trait on him. Um, if I'm not wrong, let me double check. He does. So, I think that would make a difference, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to leave the team out if the Dag Bowl stays. Obviously, he's right, he's tied, but I'll bring, I'll bring on Furlong later on in the game. And I might bring on EJ as well later because we're going against Fulham here. We we got to try and get some points early on because obviously the bigger teams will come through. If we can't obviously get points, then it's going to be a struggle for us to survive. And obviously, I want to get to a decent position so we can get more money. So next season we can actually get some decent players and actually make this team into a phenomenal team um, and actually have a chance of actually winning the league if possible. At least at least compete for it. You know what I mean? But we'll see how that goes. Well, we're into a game against Fulham here, people. Um, they're using this, they might use this information to us, it's a 4 2 3 one wide, uh, but obviously as you said, it can, it can change because it's probable, it's just a guess, they don't actually tell you the formations beforehand, um, we'll see how it goes, uh, they've got decent players as well, the keeper obviously is the main, the main concern we have to be because he, obviously he's 82 rated, uh, I realise, so obviously it's going to be a bit hard to get past, but we'll see how that goes, because our luck against, uh, Chris was actually pretty bad, we're missing so many shots, and our, our good shots were getting obviously saved, um, so we've got to try and do better than actually be uh, do uh, improve our shot conversion rate. You know what I mean, and try and do that hopefully. But with that means to tend to our game here against Fulham. The fans will be disappointed with losing one nil at home. He'll take the lead and a goal. Oh my god, that is actually annoying me now, guys. These genuinely annoy me, people. This team, Fulham, has well, pace. What the hell? Look at that. Look at that. Stop. Uh, look at that. The, the pace they have is in incredible. But the Renault is in 1 0, guys. What the hell? Oh, come on. Don't. Oh my god. Thank god. Oh, hell no. That was a pen. I gotta see this. How is this a pen? Wow. Great. Oh, I mean, right in the middle. Damn it. Well, I thought he was looking to the left a bit, you know? Like, when he has it running, I thought he moved to the left a bit, but he was. He's look oh, down, straight down the middle. Damn it. God, so we're now losing 2 0, guys. Great. What a start to this game. Oh my god, thank god. This team is moving crazy. What the hell? These guys are playing like they're like bloody Real Madrid or something. I love how the minute I slide in, the, guy, the game is like pulls them back exactly then. Oh my god, what is Canary? Defensive, what's happening here, guys? This team's attack is like is 90 rid or something, bro. 80 plus rid team. The passing is phenomenal. My marking's not working. Like, I'm trying to mark the guys, but I can't at the same time. Like, my players are naturally just 
they're just naturally passing it to players who are marked and like come on please oh my god he saved that as well to be honest he saved that as well thank god uh, Robin, Robinson actually scored that thank the lord the keeper actually saved it you know and somehow the ricochet is like kept in thank god for that if he had gone out of like, yeah, this game isn't I mean today's not my luck today's just not my luck Oh my god, what was, what is this game people? Like, I'm genuinely baffled how I'm losing 3-1 against Fulham at ball class difficulty. Like how is this happening? Like they're playing so beautifully. It's like, if I foul them, they're going to pull a foul. I slide them, they avoid it somehow. This, what the hell? What that we're now losing 3-1 bro, what the hell? Thank you, Livermore. No wrong with me, people. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Oh, what an opportunity. Please, Pereira. Thank a God, Pereira, my guy. Let's go, people. Let's go. My guy, Pereira, again. <laughs> Second goal for us. Finally. Finally. And here we are. We've got... We've end, we haven't obviously equalised it before the end of the first half, but it's fine. We'll take it. We've at least reduced it back to a one goal difference for now. We'll take it. Who's tired already? Livermore's retired. No, mate. You're playing still, mate. Most of the guys were now winning three. Uh, when it was sorry, not winning. Still losing three two, but it was reduced the gap. Reduced the gap. Please stay on. Please stay on. He's on. Back post. Oh, I was trying to get to the uh, to thing. Keeps get to that. Oh my God, keeps you got to that. Keeps. Damn, but this game has been very like a high goal turnover. I mean, the goals have been coming through. Six goals in a game is a lot. Come on, Rob. Oh my God, Robinson. That's news gonna get caught up. Oh my god. Tete. Here's Adamola Lukman. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. Well, why are these guys using their feet so much? But I hate that so much. Yeah, the fixtures come in thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Though hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. And the referee takes exception. Ref, the you. <sighs> you went, bro. This guy is pissing me off now. I'm getting battered by these players here. They're actually proper going for me. Oh my god, if he had scored that. Sawyers. What can they do from here? Please, oh my god, Robinson can't score that, bro. My guy is whack. My guy is whack. Two goals down, why not? Tete. Lost his cheek. Pressing really high. See, when you press like L2 or something like that, I just feel like uh, X ray just pulls them away so much. Look at this. I'm struggling to hold like my control player, but these guys are moving so freely and pacefully. It's like they have so much pace in them. It's like my players feel like they're like slugs, bro. Bro, the ricochets are pissing me off, bruv. The ricochets, the rebounds, sorry. They're actually pissing me off. The rebounds are actually genuinely pissing me off. You're not getting a third goal, you dickhead. I say, at this half a minute, they're actually pissing me off, though. How is this, like, 
Like this team played like they were fucking Barca or something, but the what the world's best team like by me are pacing me. It's genuinely pissed me off. I'm not lying to you, the acceleration they had to tackle me was like out of this world. It made no sense to me. Like, I felt like every time I, I passed the ball something, I was gonna get it was on me. Like, it was literally on me. Had a bit of space, nope, space is gone like within a second. Stupid. Right, we're into our next game here against Newcastle, guys. My mood is completely gone. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. My mood is completely gone. You guys, best. If you guys have reached it, you best drop a like and obviously sub to have you guys on New Year. I mean, uh, this has really annoyed me. It's just ruined my mood completely. Like, how we're doing so poorly is just surprising me so much. Like, that game just felt so difficult against Fulham. It felt so difficult. I'm just baffled. I'm actually just confused. So confused. Like, imagine that was that's Fulham. It might all be like against like Man City, Liverpool, and other type of teams. We will be destroyed, man. We were going to be destroyed. It's world class as well. Man. World class. And this, is, this is what's happening. I've just changed the minute difference. I made it from 6 to 5 minutes. It shouldn't be that much of a difference. But anyway, that's our team, as you guys can see. I ta I put, I've taken off uh, Diangana for uh, Krivinovic. Krivinovic? Krivinovic? Uh, Krivinovic? For obviously, I put him in for a cam and put uh, Perez my right mid. Hopefully, this will make a difference. If it doesn't, I mean, I tried something. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Oh, ref, bro. I actually got a card for that. Are you dumb? I got a card for that. Wow. Oh, my God. It's made the quicker runs, I beg. Holding L2 is just pointless, in my opinion, with Robinson, bro. My guy, the goal's in front of you. Why is it going there for? Oh my god. Let's go, finally. I had to be back quite sorry guys. I'm just going to focus here. And finally, we actually got a goal. Let's go, people. Ah, oh, touch was poor, but ah, oh, he still misses. Damn it! That touch was poor for Robinson there, bro. Oh my God! Please, oh my God! Bro, oh my God! If he gets the rebound. Bro, the rebound, bro, the ricochet and all that stuff happens, I hate so much, bro. Ricochet's rebounds is really annoying me. Like, the last game as well, there's a lot of uh, rebounds that was being... Um, this is really annoying me. Wow, the, again, it's not a clean goal, it's not a clean goal at all. Oh my god, how will this, how will this change? This, hope they said just didn't have this kind of luck, you know. I'm never changing the, the thing to six minutes, you know, I think that's what's made the difference with the game style. Like five minutes makes them into beasts, like they're monsters of players. Like they have amazing pace, amazing passing capabilities. But they don't miss the pass doesn't go wrong for some reason. But at six minutes they do bare mistakes. More 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 class level kind of play. Let's go, Grosicki. My guy. Sorry, I had to be quiet there again, people. Bloody hell. Let's go. A great comeback there straight away, telling them that we're in the lead, people. We're holding our lead. Oh god. I bet we get a win in this game. Just to round off to at least we got a win. Oh, there's two losses, man. Especially second with a massive L. But yeah, with that, we're now winning 2 1. Lovely. Oh, shit. Gibbs just played it off. Gibbs just assisted that. Gibbs did that. You know, Gibbs fully did that. I know Gibbs did that. That was fully Gibbs headed that. Gibbs headed that. Wait, why are you heading there for, bro? There's a guy right there, right this next to you there, mate. You could pass it to him. You have to do the whole. Extra. 
We're going to make three changes here, guys. I'm taking off Pereira, Dogba, and uh, Krovinovic for um, Austin. Diangana? Diangana? And I believe so. What's the other guy's name? Furlong. That's it. For those guys. Those three guys. So I was thinking off the top of my head, even though it's literally right in front of me for a tiny bit. Why is it so direct? That's why I hate it, bro. Like, it's not like. It's either too hard or too little. It's never the right amount. Let's go, my guy Robinson. Let's go. Put in the pressure. Let's go. I bet quite a dick. I didn't want to celebrate too early or say anything too early. But let's go. Let's go. Oh, damn it. Good goal defending there. There we go. With the guys, we won the game 3 1. Bloody hell. Finally a win. Finally a win, people. We'll take it. It's a good win as well. 3 1 win. At home as well. But we'll take it. We will take that win. Alright, then, guys. So, I'm going to end the episode here, people. We uh, had an alright episode. We did really poor the first two games. The third game, we somehow got a win to get ourselves at least some points. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, so I'm happy for that at least. And obviously, um, we signed one player. We signed, obviously, Dagbar. We'll see. We're trying to sell one player. We cannot be great by the end of the thing. Trying to win, that would be amazing. We could. But I don't know if we have enough time for that. But yeah, I want to end it here. As I said, we got our next game will be against Luton Town, which I'm still going to try and uh, use our main team for it. Because I think our second team isn't really going to be like. There's no chance. Obviously, depending on how the uh, full and thing played against us, this this team will like, play amazingly. You know what I mean, but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to change the, the the length to six minutes now to five from five minutes. For five minutes, maybe rushes there makes it more difficult. It makes that make sense. I don't know why. Um, but I'll make the six minutes see if that makes a difference. If not, just me, maybe. Uh, but yeah, guys, anyway, if you have obviously reached to this stage, guys, be sure to drop a like if you haven't already. Be sure to sub to the channel if you haven't already, guys. We're trying to get to 1.5k by the end of the year. We've only got two months technically now. Let's try and get there if possible. And yeah, with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed and peace, people.